Welcome back. Some of you might be in the market for a new mattress, but there are a few things you should keep in mind before you buy one. Paula Fleming with the Better Business Bureau joins us now. Thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for having me, Kat. So what are some tips when people are going mattress shopping that they should keep in mind? Well, there are so many options when you're buying a mattress. There's the firmness level, the price range, the size, even the smart technology options, which you know, if you're sharing a bed space, you might like it firm, the other not so much. So there's many things to take into consideration. A great place to start is obviously to check out the business that you're buying from. You can do so at bbb.org. You can get referrals from family and friends. Um, and then you can take it to the next step on tips, which I'd like to go over with you. So comparison shopping is huge. You can literally get the same mattress, but hundreds of dollars apart simply by doing some pre-shopping research on your computer. So comparison shopping for quality um, by even the uh, maker of the mattress, I highly encourage that. And are there other tips people should consider like when they're in the store itself? Yes, um, try before you buy, test the mattress out. Um, they allow you to lay, lay on the mattress. It may seem awkward to sit there and lay in the store, um, but we encourage you to do that. Take a close look at the mattress tags um, to make sure that if it's delivered to your home, it's intact. Make sure you are clear on the return policy. If for whatever reason it doesn't meet your needs, what is the return policy and are there restocking fees associated with that um, return? Ask the retailer um, for a receipt. Even if you're getting it delivered when you're in the store, ask for a receipt. Um, and also, I encourage you to use a credit card, not write a check, not pay cash. That's an extra layer of protection. Should you be unhappy with the quality of the product, you can then work through the credit card company to get a refund. We sometimes see people selling mattresses online. Um, are there things people should consider when they're buying a used mattress? You know, I have actually seen, um, even just locally here in New England, an uptick in mattress selling online bedding, um, the furniture for bedrooms online. I, and you know, I don't think it's necessarily a horrible way to go, but you know, you, you have to take into consideration when you purchase from someone that you possibly do not know, you get what you get. Um, so if you bring it home, the likelihood of being able to return that is slim to none. So you have to just take that into consideration. Obviously there could be, there probably is wear and tear if it's a used mattress. Um, so, and are you comfortable uh, with that? So there's things to take into consideration if you're doing, you know, a Facebook marketplace, for example. Um, if you're also just doing strictly online, because there's a lot of uh, businesses that are not storefronts, but simply purchase online, make sure again that you read the policies in regards to returning. Everything is so convenient for us at a, you know, click of the mouse, but you have to make sure you know what you're getting into. For sure. Paula Fleming, good tips there. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.